Hi, I'm Steve Kidd and I'm going to explain the building regulations changes to approved document M volume 2, which were published by the government on the 19th of July this year. The new guidance means that from next January, changing places toilets will be mandatory in large buildings or venues in England that are accessed by the public. Changing places WCs meet the needs of people with profound learning and physical disabilities. They provide specific equipment, including an adult changing table, a tracking hoist system and a peninsula toilet with space for use by a disabled person and up to two carers. The new amendment will make these mandatory in certain types of buildings or groups of buildings. At least one changing places facility will be required in assembly, recreation or entertainment buildings with a capacity of 350 or more people or a collection of smaller buildings associated with a site used for assembly, recreation or entertainment, such as zoos, theme parks and venues for sport and exhibitions with a capacity of 2,000 people or more. A list of buildings affected is available in the article below, where we'll also explain how to calculate building capacity. The requirement for at least one changing places facility will also apply to shopping centres and retail parks with gross floor areas of 30,000 metres squared or more. Any retail premises with a gross floor area of 2,500 metres squared or more, even if these premises are within a larger complex where a changing places toilet is also required. Sports and leisure buildings with a gross floor area more than 5,000 metres squared. Hospitals and primary care centres. Crematoria and cemetery buildings. The requirement for a 12 metre squared changing places facility Will apply where a venue is newly built or undergoes a material change of use. MHCLG is also investigating the possibility of introducing a smaller facility in relevant buildings that are extended or undergo a material alteration, but this is not part of this amendment. The new amendment comes into effect on the 1st of January 2021. It will not apply where initial notice has been served before that date and the work has started before the 1st of March 2021. A changing places facility measures four by three metres and the key features of the layout are direct access from the door into the manoeuvring space, sufficient clear space for a wheelchair user and two assistants to move around the room, easy transfer using the hoist between the manoeuvring space, toilet and changing bench, peninsula toilet with privacy curtain or screen and room for an assistant on either side. If installed, shower unit and detachable shower head located close to the changing bench. And if there's a floor drain, it must be positioned to prevent water flowing across the room. In the article below, you can see diagrams and layouts of how changing places facilities may look. It's very important to remember that a changing places facility is not an alternative to a standard wheelchair accessible WC. The peninsula toilet layout is not designed for independent wheelchair users. Changing places facilities are in addition to any other toilet or baby changing provision in a building. If you'd like any further information on how this may affect your project, then please do not hesitate to contact us on the link below. And thank you for watching.